Hey guys, it's Chad. Today I'm going to show you something sexy. And that is the sexy shrimp. It's an anemone shrimp. I've got four of them in the tank. At any given time, you'll see one or two of them. At night, I can hunt down all of them. They live on and around anemone. Now in this case, I have a big anemone, but the clownfish, they don't like to have company in that one. So I have the maxi mini anemones. One there, and one there, and one there, for them to hang around on. They seem to like this one. They don't get very large. The one you see in this image is probably as big as they get. They will eat just about anything. Uh, flake food or whatever that lands on that anemone, they will come and take their share of it. They like the clownfish, keep their anemone clean. Uh, these guys keep their anemone clean. They're not to be kept with fish that eat shrimp. You, know, you might be able to keep some wrasse with this guy. He's big, able to take care of himself. Um, fish isn't likely to eat it, but a fish, a fish like that will definitely eat this guy. So just something to be cautious of when you have them. They're usually about 10 to $15 each. They do best with an anemone or some corals to hide in. I don't really recommend them for tanks that don't have those things because it's part of their natural habitat. So if, you're, if you can't have that, then I would suggest that you pick a different shrimp. And there, there are plenty of others. As you can see, his tail is waving back and forth. It's where they get their name, Sexy Shrimp, because it's like he's shaking his bottom uh, in a sexy fashion. Where that movement comes from is the anemone. You can see the tips of the anemone sway back and forth, back and forth. And they will actually time the movement of their tail to the movement of the anemone. And it's pretty interesting. I noticed that first when I had sped up. Um, I had my Vortec on a nutrient um, setting and nutrient export setting. And so what that does is it, is it changes variable speeds and as that speed changed I noticed that so did the shrimp's tail. Uh, it moved faster or slower uh, to keep to keep kind of a rhythm uh, with with the uh, big anemone. So it's just an interesting feature that they they have. They're harmless. They're not going to eat your corals. They're not going to eat any of the other invertebrates in the tank. They're, they're good little scavengers. They'll go from rock to rock. They'll keep the insides of your SPS corals clean and when uh, when attacked or when they're afraid they'll run quickly to their anemone. I'm going to go into the tank and see if I can get a, a better shot in the tank. So just a sec. So there you have it. The sexy anemone shrimp. The sexiest thing that I'll ever show you on my YouTube channel. They do great in groups. They easy to take care of and a very attractive shrimp to have in your tank. As you can see by the uh, cleaner shrimp, they don't uh, get picked on by those shrimp and don't cause anyone any harms. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.